<sighs> that's a wood blade. And, uh, that's too big to get its fat head in there. And uh, I don't have enough air to run a die grinder for any length of time. I gotta take the exhaust out. I got the pan down. Oh, hold on, let me turn the flashlight. There, now you can just barely see anything. Anyways, I got the pan down. Uh, but it's not gonna come out with the exhaust in place. And, uh, yeah, you can kind of see it there that I've been cutting on it. But I can't get all the way through and all the way around. Hit myself in the face multiple times because I don't have a, a friggin' face shield. I'm ill equipped to do any of this. And I just found a folk the, uh, the the zoom mechanism, so you're gonna see that a lot while I play with it. And uh, so yeah. I haven't even looked at this pad. I'm busy screwing around. It's not bad. I would sure rather just have it out of there so I can clean it up properly. Prefer not to drop the pump. Oh god. I'm really close to starting to go back together. So I've got to call out to my uh, friends here locally to see if anybody's got a metal sawzall bit blade I swore when I thought this second hand that it came with a bunch of blades but I'm not finding anything up here at all this is where everything ended up when I took it out of the bag and I think I threw the bag away so I'm pretty sure the bag was empty But I don't have any blades. So that's where Sunday's at. So, uh, yeah, going well. And if I just get that exhaust out of the way, I'd have this done. And my plan there, I'm cutting that right before some straight sections. And I kind of have to shimmy the pan to the driver's side to get it out. But then I'll take the piece that I cut out and I'll hit an exhaust shop and have them cut me a new piece with some flanged or some flares on it. I'll just bolt it back together that way. Or maybe use some flat bands. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it all goes together. But I might be able to weld most of the way around both of those. If I had a tape, I could, but I don't, although Kendall does. So, anyways, the exhaust is getting cut out at the moment, at least a section of it. Well, not at the moment, because I don't have a crap to cut with, so, uh, go from there. Thanks. Alright, well... Nothing's working. Uh, hardware store in town is closed. I'm not driving the big town box store to get what I need today. So I'm going to close everything up. It's going to be a couple of weeks before I work on this again. I'll probably go ahead and just post this video as an update. What the hell that is. And uh, it's a helicopter. That's what that is. Um, so I'll get some sawzall blades and I'm going to stand still if I can't get that damn pipe out to get the damn pan out. I mean, I could probably put the pan in, but I just feel a lot better getting everything cleaned out and getting all the surfaces cleaned off. Do it right. So... We're done for today, done for the weekend. 
I got a lot done. I mean, I got pushed in, so that's a plus. I don't have to pack everything away now. Just close the doors and walk away. So, so it, if you're watching, if you're keeping track, uh, please subscribe. Um, vote on my videos, up or down. I, I want to know if what I'm doing here is something that will attract viewers or not. Um, I am monetizing these videos again. So share, please. Every time you share, that, that helps me out. And uh, I'll try and start posting more often. I have no guarantees. Once this thing's running and out of here, we're going to back my trailer in and probably drop the ceiling and find out how much of a mess we have up there. And this is the landlord. He wanted to, wanted to bring it all back in and fix all the wiring. So I'm probably going to look at doing some some special lighting here both for helping me see and for helping you guys see. I'm thinking maybe some pod lights that I can aim into the engine bays or wherever I'm working. Get rid of I'm gonna try and talk him in and let me get rid of all this crap. We might use some of that for the ceiling because I don't care what the ceiling looks like. I'll paint it. That's the other thing I'll need to do is this corner will I'll get painted white, nice reflective, and uh, yeah, it'd be nice if I could do something on this floor to kind of level it out, I doubt that's going to happen, if I do anything it's going to be bring that out so I can close that down and open that door all the way. There's some work that's going to happen here, but I'm not going to get too excited because this garage is a pile. It really is. This wall's pushed out. Foundation's crumbling away. Yeah, it's a mess. But it's what I got. Probably not going to get any better. Not anytime soon. So, Again, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated.